In this uh, short tutorial, we are going to develop a uh, spreadsheet to determine the uh, fanning friction factor. Now you know that there is uh, a, a diagram called Moody's diagram that we use often to determine uh, the friction factor. Uh, the formula uh, to calculate friction factor when the flow is uh, turbulent, that is when Reynolds number is greater than 10,000, is uh, shown here, 1 over the square root of friction factor, and that equals uh, minus 3.6 log of 6.9 divided by Reynolds number plus epsilon over d, which is the relative roughness factor, divided by 3.7 raised to power 1.11. Uh, we can rearrange those terms and write it in terms of the friction factor. And that is what we will program in the spreadsheet. So in uh, cell A1, we write down Reynolds number uh, and uh, enter a arbitrary value here at 10,000 in uh, cell B1. And the, in cell A2, we write down relative roughness and again just pick a value and we write 0 0.002 in cell B2 uh, and in uh, cell A4 uh, we write down friction factor and we will enter the formula in uh, cell B4. Now the formula uh, is uh, written here which we saw in, in our previous uh, screen uh, where we had uh, rearrange the terms for the friction factor. Uh, so we need to enter that uh, into cell uh, B4 and you can see uh, the various terms. Of course we start with the equal sign uh, for the formula in uh, cell B4 and uh, we enter all the terms. So uh, I suggest that you do the same in your uh, spreadsheet and then after you have entered that formula uh, into that uh, cell, you will then s see the calculated value of the friction factor, which in this case will be 0 0.008386, and uh, that you can also check uh, on the Moody diagram. And of course, we can uh, change uh, either the Reynolds number or the relative roughness and determine the value for the friction factor. Again, if you have this little handy spreadsheet, uh, then anytime you need to know the friction factor, uh, all you have to do is enter the values for the Reynolds number, the uh, relative roughness, and uh, you should be able to obtain the friction factor.